We believe simple choices we all make, such as choosing sustainable seafood, cleaning up beaches, and recycling, can make a world of a difference. That's why here at Daimashiamu, our culinary team has worked hard to make ocean-friendly choices for our menu. We believe these simple choices can have a positive impact on our ocean. Now I'd like to give you some insight to these amazing animals that you see before you, and what might be going on during the interaction today. You guys are getting a very unique opportunity to meet two of the most handsome whales I've ever met in my life. Um, the bigger whale that you see in the pool, his name is Tilika. He is a very experienced whale. He is in his 30s. And with him, we also have Trua. You guys feel comfortable get, getting your cameras out? Check it out right here in the center of the pool. Both the whales are going to come up and out of the water. Do a little bit of showing off for you. Very nice. Trua is a seven-year-old juvenile female, or male, and he was born right here at SeaWorld Orlando. Now, he's only seven, so he is not quite as big as Tilka yet, but that doesn't mean one day he won't be. Tilly, he weighs about a little over 12,000 pounds. He is actually the largest killer whale in any marine park in the entire world. Just to give you a reference, he is about the size of a yellow school bus, and he's pretty long as well. Check it out in the center of the pool again. Oh, just kidding. As trainers here, we communicate with our whales in a variety of different ways. The most obvious way that we communicate with them is with our hands. So you guys giving, or see us giving them lots of different hand signals. From our tiny little otters that we have here at Zoo, all the way up to these large killer whales, we all use the same technique to train them. And that technique is called positive reinforcement. Now, positive reinforcement is a big, big fancy term to mean whenever an animal is doing something correct or if there's a behavior that we'd like to see more of, we bring a lot of positive attention to that behavior. Check it, up, uh, check it out right over here at the slide out. You can see the huge difference in size between the two. Now, what would you guys think that killer whales like most? Fish, yeah. Killer whales definitely like fish, but we will also reinforce them in a variety of different other ways as well. Uh, we bring lots of positive attention, so it could just be simply clapping our hands together, it could be giving them jello or ice cubes. We also have big killer whale toys that we give them. Um, all different fun, fun things that we give our whales to bring positive attention to them.
back of their dorsal fin, each killer whale will have a unique pattern to it, kind of act like a fingerprint. That's a more scientific way to tell them apart. And you guys over here on my right, campus, you will see that Trua has a cute little freckle on his eye patch. So that's another way that we can tell them apart. Some of them have cute like little beauty marks. Now some of you may have seen Tanner throw that ice cube right there in the center of the pool. That is one of the ways that we can tell the whales where we would like them to go. So Tanner threw that ice cube right there and Tilly knew exactly where to go to come up out of the water. If you focus your attention to the left hand side of the pool, you will see Kelly dancing with Trua. They are doing what we call mimic, mimic behavior. So whatever Kelly does, he does. Sometimes it could be just our wiggling, it could be dancing, it could be us stomping our feet up and down, and the whales will kick their tail. They're very social animals, so they do a lot of observational learning. There's a beautiful ballerina right there in the center of the pool. Like I mentioned earlier, Tilly weighs about 12,000 pounds, so he will eat about 200 pounds of fish a day. And he'll eat a variety of different types of fish, including capelin and herring, and even give them salmon. Our youngest and our smallest killer whale weighs about 1,300 pounds, and he will eat about 60 pounds of fish a day. Now I'm sure a lot of you just heard Tilly singing for you all. All those sounds will come from his blowhole. None of those sounds come from their mouth. They have a muscular flap on their blowhole that manipulates, and that's how they're able to produce all those sounds. Very similar to if you were to blow up their balloon oh. and wiggle the end around, makes fun noises, kind of the same concept as that. Different one, bigger. 
And we brush our teeth about three times a day.